Hey everybody, I wanted to share something that happened today out in uh, Project Frontlines. Um, <clears throat> it's a great day out there. Talked to a lot of people, talked to a lot of people afterwards, but while we were standing out there holding signs, this young dad came up to me and said, hey, I want to share a, my story with you. And uh, I said, all right. And I could tell he was... His lip was kind of quivering. Uh, his eyes were kind of tearing up already. And, and what he did was he shared with me how um, his wife was pregnant with twins. Okay. And the t one of the kids was uh, having a lot of problems. And the doctor told him to um, abort one of them. Or else, you know, it could be bad. And I could tell it was really hard for this guy to tell me this story. And he told me how they were Christians and how they had they struggled with it. And they listened to the doctor. And they, they aborted one of the kids. All right. And how much of a struggle that is for him. Even today. And, uh... So I got to talk to him about, you know, that is sin, right? It is murder. It is, you know, God is the one knitting these kids in your wife's womb. God is the creator of life, and God has dominion, and we need to have faith. And lots of people, lots of doctors tell people to have abortions, that it's the best thing to do, and it's not the best thing to do. And that through repentance and obedience to God, he can restore you. And I asked him if he's repented. And he said, every, every day. See, what this guy needs to do, he said he's never told anybody that story. And the pain him and his wife go through to this day is amazing. And he needs to share that. He said he's never told anybody this. If you sin, our God can restore you. But you can't hide your sin. You have to use it to show other people the errors that they're going to make. When, when they listen to doctors, when they listen to professionals, and the professional says to to kill your baby. They need to know what the cost of that is. It's saying no to God and it's it's you're murdering one of your own kids. And he showed me a picture of his kid, his little baby. And it was beautiful. But I know he sees the other child also that he sacrificed. And like he said, every single day he repents. The burden, the pain is still there. He's not restored yet. He can be restored. I believe he will be. This was a humble man. This wasn't a prideful man. This wasn't a man that was angry. This was a man that just wanted to share. And he wanted to, to see if we could like not hold pictures of dead babies out in front of high schools too, right? And then I explained to him why we do it and why we have to do it and why good men need to stand up. And he got it. He understood. My prayer is, though, that this family is restored. Our God can do that. I know that. I've seen it. And I pray that he'll use this for God's glory. And he'll share this. And he won't hide it because many more people will actually listen to their doctors and abort their babies. And many people have been told to abort their babies, don't listen to the doctors, don't do it, and both babies are fine or the child is fine. There's a tendency for doctors to always abort. I mean, not always, but oftentimes abort when there's problems or the test comes back bad. But as this dad knows, the pain never really goes away. 
that guilt never really goes away. So hopefully God will restore this man. And even though he'll always feel that loss, that God will actually use this to save other children. Being out there in front of the school today, it was an amazing thing. And it was an amazing thing to talk with this guy. And, and, this, and this guy said, I really do respect what you're doing out here. And we shook hands, and I wish I would have got his number and talked to him more. And I hope he sees this, and, and I can fellowship with this guy, because he really does have a repentant heart. Not like all the, the wicked people that, like, flip us off, cuss us off, talk about how to, to, to th you know, they're going to throw eggs at us, you know, here in Little Elm, and how they want to find somebody who'll go to jail and beat us up. And he's not like that. He's like a, a good guy. I listened to a doctor and was disobedient to God. Well, we've all been disobedient to God. I've been disobedient to God. So, anyway, I wanted to share this story and let people know that it's good to be out in front of these high schools. And it does help people. Girls actually won't have abortions because you're out there. You know, they'll, they'll see that they've been lied to. And you can talk to them, and you can help the parents and the people that are post-abortive, you know. So, anyway. Um, hi, Therese. Love you. It's my sister. I um, hope everybody's doing well. And uh, I'm out here waiting for my son to get done with uh, soccer practice. You know, just praying and praying for this family. So, anyway, good night. Love you guys.